Pakistan has a relatively low reported death toll from COVID-19 compared to its large population. However, due to the strict lockdown, many people have had job losses and businesses have experienced slowing sales. Many households live in off-grid settings and scorching heat for eight months of the year. Due to these various reasons, they will not be getting grid electricity anytime soon. Fans that can run for about 18 to 20 hours a day are needed to avoid dehydration and help children sleep in peace. Pakistan is a very hot country for pretty much half the year uh, and customers have a, a basic need for fans. If you don't have a fan, your solar products will not sell. So our purpose is to build a super efficient fan uh, a rechargeable model and a basic model that customers will be able to utilize uh, during the hot summers. In Pakistan, about 40% of total energy consumed is taken by household fans. And of course, if we are able to improve the efficiency of these fans, uh, we can go a long way. A couple of uh, days ago, in fact, Pakistan experienced a countrywide uh, electricity breakdown. The grid just, you know, tripped. And so people in villages who do not have access to the grid, they had their fans and lights running, despite the fact that people who were connected to the grid in the cities, they didn't have any power. I would really like to thank the entire team of Efficiency for Access. There was a very good injection, an unrestricted grant from the E4A team for the COVID relief. And that essentially kept us afloat during the period immediately after the lockdown. Sales were really low and a cash flow situation was really, really, really struggling. But the grant helped us get out of the pandemic essentially. I think the goal of the LEA program, the Low Energy Inclusive Appliances, is, is super important in achieving SDG 7. Uh, because lighting and mobile charging access is important but in a country like Pakistan if you don't have a fan, if you don't have proper ventilation that creates a lot of problems for people. Meeting with customers, doing village meetings, uh, product demonstrations and that came to a complete halt because of the lockdowns. We could not move in the field, our uh, sort of sale agents could not uh, you know, go to customers. So overall I think the rural economy experienced a contraction. ਮੈਂ <laughs> ਕਰਨਾ ਮੇਰੇ